What's going on guys, Tristan24 here, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we've got Premier League predictions, match week 33, let's get straight into it. The first game we've got to predict is Arsenal against Everton. This is the Friday night kickoff. Interesting game. Uh, there's going to be a pro protest outside the Emirates um, tonight, the day I'm calling this Friday, um, because of the Super League things. Uh, they're trying to get Kroenke out, their owner. But Everton, though, they'll be looking to try and win this one. Of course, any team would want to win a game. Um, but more so this one, because Arsenal at the moment, they're not playing that well, uh, in all honesty. They've just got a late draw against... Fulham, uh, well earned point there, uh, I didn't watch the game so I don't know if it was deserved but Eddie and Ketty are rescuing them in the 97th minute, just about getting the um, winner, just enough time in the game added on for Arsenal to get a point otherwise Fulham could have been a step closer to safety um, on the points tally but no, but pr prediction in this game I'm going to say Arsenal won, Everton won. Liverpool against Newcastle is the next game. Now, Liverpool, of course, they were involved in the Super League. Uh, they also, uh, as well as every top six club, did say no in the end and exited uh, the Super League. The owner has apologised for it and he says basically let everyone down associated with Liverpool. Newcastle, they'll be wanting to win this one because they're in a massive fight. They've got a few results in the past few weeks, though, which will definitely help them. But for this game, I am going to say Liverpool are going to win it. I just think they have too much quality for Newcastle. But I wouldn't be too surprised if Newcastle won. But I'll say 2-1 Liverpool for this one. West Ham against Chelsea next. Now, this is the big, big decider for top four. Winner of this seems look, uh, like they're going to finish in fourth position. Uh, West Ham... I predicted 3-2 for their last game against Newcastle. And what are they going to do? Lose 3-2. Typical. But uh, Chelsea lose through midweek to Brighton. 0-0. Um, but there was fans protesting outside Stamford Bridge that uh, the night of that game. But for this uh, game, I do think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. Can't split sides. I think West Ham and Chelsea... We'll share the point. Sheffield United against Brighton. Now, unfortunately, Sheffield United are relegated back to the championship. They'll be going down. Brighton, they will not want to be going down. It seems like they will be safe. If they win this one, they could go 10 points clear of the drop. And that point against Chelsea was absolutely massive midweek. In this game, I can't see Sheffield United even getting anything out of it. Brighton is... Almost to give them three points, but Sheffield United will want to decide, sort of, in their own way, uh, who comes down with them by uh, beating the teams that in and around them. Try and drag them back into a relegation scrap, but I think Brighton in this game will just have too much. I'm going to go 2-0 to the away side. Wolves against Burnley, the 12 o'clock kickoff on Sunday. This is going to be an entertaining game. I think Burnley will be safe come the end of the season. Wolves... Of course, next season when they have Raw Jimenez back, I'm pretty sure he'll be back next season anyway. Hope so, brilliant striker. Um, then we can see Wolves at their best again. Because William Jose, he's done okay for Wolves. He hasn't really um, filled in as much as they would have wanted, uh, like filled the boots of Raw Jimenez. But um, they still, they're still had a decent season. But for a score prediction this game, I'm going to say Wolves are going to get the win 1-0. They don't score too many goals nowadays uh, without Raul Jimenez. Burnley, they don't concede or score that many. Uh, and I think they'll only concede the one against Wolves on Sunday. Leeds against Man United is the next game predict. The 2 o'clock kickoff on Sunday. Can't see Leeds getting anything out of this. I'm going to be straight with this prediction. 3-0 Man United. Their owner, um, or someone to do with the club. I uh, can't remember his name. Woods Ward or something, I'm not too sure, or Man United, um, fact, team staff or whatever you call them. <laughs> but um, I think Man United going to win this one, 3-0. Greenwood's been scoring quite a lot recently and I think he'll get a few and help them get the win against Leeds. Aston Villa against West Brom is the next game. West Brom recently, 
them looking really good as if they're going to survive. Yesterday they did lose to Leicester 3-0, um, not the best for them. But in this game, it's a wonderful game against Aston Villa. Um, but I don't think they're going to win it. I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. Aston Villa, uh, they just took the lead against Man, United, Man City sorry, in their midweek game. John McGinn and then they didn't win it, unfortunately for them. But maybe this game they can win it if they start as quick as they did against Man City. Then anything can happen. But I'm going to say a 1-1 draw in this one because West Brom are fighting for their lives. The final game of this match week to predict is Leicester against Crystal Palace. This could be an interesting game but I cannot see anything other than a Leicester win. I'm going to go 3-0 to the home side. And also, Prediction League on screen right now. So if you are interested in joining the Prediction League, it's not too late. There's probably there's about five match weeks is left. Of the Premier League, um, so plenty of time to do well in the Premier League predictions. And make sure you get your predictions in in the comment section down below, and then I'll sort it from there in terms of adding you onto the prediction league and working out the order of everybody. Also, we'll do, we are doing uh, championship predictions. Make sure you go check them out if you haven't already. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you have as well. On screen now, then will be what the uh, Premier League table is looking like. After all these games have been played, if all my predictions were to come true. Of course, that's very unlikely. And I cannot wait to hear you guys' thoughts on in on the games in the comment section down below. So make sure you get them in there. And until next time, guys, take care. Goodbye.